Hello friends. So today in our part 2 of chapter inverse trigonometric functions we are dealing with properties of inverse trigonometric functions. Important point is these properties are valid only in the principal value branches. So first property is sine inverse of 1 by x equals to cos inverse x and it is same as for cos inverse to sec and tan inverse 1 by x to cot inverse x. So how we prove? These proofs are also important. Suppose cos inverse x equals to theta then cos theta is nothing but x. We can shift cos inverse so cos theta it is x. So 1 upon x equals to sin theta. So what is theta? Sin inverse 1 by x. See this one is theta and this one is theta. Hence cos inverse x equals to sin inverse 1 by x or vice versa. Sin inverse 1 by x equals to cos inverse x. And in the same manner we can prove for cos inverse and tan inverse. This is the property number 1. But important point, these properties are only valid in principal value branches. Now the second one. Proof of the second one. Sin inverse minus x is minus sin inverse x for first group. And you know first group? Sin inverse, cos inverse and tan inverse. For all these three, we can have sin inverse minus x is minus sin inverse x. So now the proof. Suppose sin inverse minus x equals to theta. Hence minus x equals to sin theta. It means x equals to minus sin theta. From 11th class, you know this we can write as sine of minus theta or this sine again come to this side sine inverse of x is minus theta. So what about the value of theta? Theta equals to minus sine inverse x. So from where we start theta come to the point theta. So sine inverse of minus x is nothing but minus sine inverse x and this proof is valid for the first group and first group means for sin inverse, cos inverse and tan inverse. Now the third cos inverse minus x. Suppose cos inverse minus x is theta. So minus x equals to cos theta. x equals to minus cos theta. Again from class 11, x equals to cos pi minus theta. So this cos goes to again back to left side, cos inverse x equals to pi minus theta. Cos inverse x equals to pi minus and what is theta? Cos inverse minus x. So what is cos inverse minus x? pi minus cos inverse x and this result is valid for other two means group number two cos inverse, sec inverse and cot inverse. Clear? Property number third. Now property number fourth. Sin inverse plus cos inverse equals to pi by 2. Suppose sin inverse x is theta. It means x equals to sin theta. This sin theta, complementary angle, we can convert sin to cos. Cos 90 minus theta. It means cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 minus theta. But what about the value of theta? Sin inverse x. Hence the final result. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to 
pi by 2. And in the same manner, we can prove for other two, tan inverse x plus cot inverse x, pi by 2, sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x, pi by 2. So whatever part we left, these parts for your homework. You have to prove these two parts, property number third, two parts, property number two, third parts, and property number one, again, third. You have to prove as here your homework. Now, the property number five, very important. Uh, I think 90% uh, question based on this property number five, based on 10. So 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y equals to 10 inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. But remember, xy is less than 1. So first, how we prove this? Very, very important property. 90% or maybe above questions in this inverse trigonometric chapter we can solve easily by applying this property. So suppose 10 inverse x equals to alpha, 10 inverse y equals to beta. Hence, x equals to 10 alpha, y equals to 10 beta. From class 11th, if we want to calculate the value of 10 alpha plus beta, then what we'll say 10 alpha, 10 beta, 1 minus 10 alpha, 10 beta. So apply the value, what is 10 alpha? x plus y, 1 minus xy, and this is 10 alpha plus beta. So what about only alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta will be 10 inverse x plus y, 1 minus xy. What we assume earlier in the first step, alpha equals to 10 inverse x, 10 inverse y, 10 inverse x plus y, 1 minus xy. The most important, the most important property of inverse trigonometric function, 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y equals to 10 inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Last property number six is for your homework that all the trigonometric inverse trigonometric functions in two ten inverse x. For example, here I will solve any one. If you put y is also x, y equals to also x we substitute. Then what we'll get? A small change. Ten inverse x plus ten inverse x. Ten inverse x plus ten inverse x. This is two ten inverse x equals to 10 inverse x plus x and 1 minus x square. This is another important concept. 2 10 inverse x, 2 10 inverse x equals to 10 inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square. So first we start all the questions based on this important property. One question. Question number third, exercise 2.2. 10 inverse 2 by 11 plus 10 inverse 7 by 24. You have to prove 10 inverse half. This is nothing but x. This is nothing but y. And we want to prove the arches. So simply substitute the values in the formula. This is 10 inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y. And solve it. You'll get the answer. 10 inverse 11 into 24, 48, 77. 11 into 24 LCM, 11 into 24, 
minus 14. LCM is the same, cancel out. And when you solve this, you will get half. What an easy question. One more question. I think it is very easy and you can complete. This type of questions, similar type of questions, where we apply same formula every time, same formula. Say one more question. 2 10 inverse half. 2 10 inverse half plus 10 inverse 1 by 7 equals to 10 inverse 31 upon 17. A small change. 2 10 inverse. So first you have to convert this 2 10 inverse x into 10 inverse x. So first we write 10 inverse 2x. 1 minus x square plus 10 inverse 1 by 7. This is half actually. 2 10 inverse half. So for x we write half. And 10 inverse 1 by 7. So this will become 10 inverse 1. This is 1 fourth. 1 minus 1 fourth 3 by 4. This will become 10 inverse 4 by 3 plus 10 inverse 1 by 7. 10 inverse, again apply the same formula, 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7, 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7. The final result, 10 inverse, 28 plus 3 divided by 21, again 21 LCM. 21 minus 4, 17. 21, 21 LCM cancel out. 28 and 3, 31 and 17. 10 inverse. 31 divided by 17. RHS. And if after solving this you are getting 4 marks then? Oh, what an easy question. So this type of question you will get in the miscellaneous exercise also. So today's homework is note down from the miscellaneous exercise 3rd to 8. 3rd to 8 but a small concept is due how to change other trigonometric ratios in 10 because we are using the 10 formula frequently. For example, suppose your question is sine inverse 3 by 5 and I want to convert it only in terms of 10 inverse. So simple class 10th concept, if this one is theta, 3 is perpendicular and 5 will be hypotenuse, correct? 3 and 5 if you know then how we calculate the base, 35 minus 9. It means 16 and under root of 16 equals to 4. So if you apply this concept of class 10th, we can convert all other trigonometric by the way sin inverse or cos inverse or sec inverse whatever in the particular range then we can convert in 10 inverse. What is 10 inverse? 3 by 4. If I want to convert sec inverse by the way one more question of sec inverse something given. Complete the triangle. This is nothing but hypotenuse upon base. We can calculate perpendicular. And when we have perpendicular and base, again we can convert in 10 inverse. So the best way is each and every sum, if it is in the particular range, you can convert into 10 inverse. And then apply the most important formula of 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y equals to 10 inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. The best method. So in miscellaneous exercise from question number 3rd to 8, many questions in sign or cos or 10. So the best method is first to convert into 10 inverse and then apply the formula. So I think you can complete the miscellaneous exercise few sums from question number 1 and 2 from the previous article like principal value and then question number 3rd to 8 is for your homework.
next we'll start in part 3 some more good questions which will be used in differential calculus as well as in integral calculus okay tab tak unko complete karna hai aage badhna hai aur lockdown period ko pura use karna hai all the best